And now it's time for a fireside chat with William Shatner. Well, boys and girls. No, I'm just, it's just me. Well, boys and girls. Are you implying that I am non gender specific? No, you're specific, but it just depends where and why and how and why. Well, you're French Canadian. You're open minded about all that kind of thing, aren't you? I'm open minded. Are you open minded? I you think you're an open-minded guy? I don't know. I think you're kind of set in your ways. No, no, no. I'm open-minded. I mean, let red be blue and blue be white and red, white, and blue. And I, 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 I... Is that uh, tobacco, that cigar? Or is it... Uh... It's hard to tell. At these heights, you can get <laughs> This and Craig... They, how did it go last night? Your movie opened last night, didn't it? It did. It was beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, have you ever played Vegas? Uh, define play. Entertained at Vegas? Yes, I have. I've entertained gentlemen friends. <laughs> and lady friends. See? Yeah, you're right. Boys you're right. Yeah, yeah, no, you're oh, right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to entertain at Lowe's. Uh, 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 at the Lowe's uh, the hotel. Hotel. The, the, what's it called? The Lowe's. Uh, Lowe's, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at, the M at the MGM Grand. The MGM Grand. Well, yeah. that's, the, that's the one with the big lions out front. That's how you know how to get there. You look for the one with the big lions. Because well, other ones are like other, like there's one that looks like Paris, and there's one that looks like ancient times. Have you played there? What, ancient times? Loathe. No, uh, I, uh, I, haven't MPM played, I haven't played. I don't do the big rooms like you, Bill. I just do the little rooms. I'm going to be there the 19th, 20th, and 21st of uh, June, and I'm excited. Well, well, couldn't you come back and plug it before then? Is this you start... Like you start to plug it already now. You can come back. I'm not plugging. I'm just saying, have you ever oh, played Oh, you're Vegas? plugging. You always what, plug. I'm not plugging. This is not a plug. Just because I'm going to play Las Vegas for the first time and I'm all excited, it's not a plug. <laughs> Sounded a bit like a plug. Are you, uh, are you a gambling man? Do you enjoy uh, hookers and blow, that kind of thing? When I lose four quarters, yeah. I'm in a funk. Can he say that? Oh, you funk? can say that. Yeah, you can say it, folks. Oh, you yeah. get a bleep there sometimes. <laughs> I'm in a... No, I, I don't like to gamble because I don't like to lose. I'm I don't like to gamble at all. So do you? No, I, I often don't do things I don't like to do. You are well known for doing things you didn't want to do for a long time. Earlier on, yeah. No, I, for a long time I did things I didn't want to do by accident. Oh, but, it's by an accident. Well, it was no, sort of, no, sort of no. accidentally, you know. Well, yeah. Take, take no responsibility. Chris. No, no, no. I take complete responsibility for my actions my entire life. I'm not saying that I don't. I'm you just, just did. I know. I just said it. Right. What did you say? <laughs> you know, sometimes I think you can get a bit argumentative, and which I think is very un-Canadian. I've been gone for quite a while. You've, you've picked up our ways then. That's right. Yeah. I've lost my politeness and gotten a little aggressive. <laughs> well, that'll happen. I'm excited about, about, about uh, playing Vegas, though. Well, it's very rat packy. You know, it's very historic. It's do, very do, do people come up and get drunk and come up on stage and that kind of thing? That's Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> well, do the guys come up and say, you better be funny? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was like, hey, uh, you better be funny or uh, the desert. Really? Yeah. Or you, that, you know what they have got there, though? They got in Vegas, they got the all you can eat buffet. All you can eat. All you can eat. Why do you suggest that interests me? I'm not saying it. I'm just saying. I'm not saying it interests you. I'm just saying they have. Who wouldn't be interested in that? All you can eat. All you can physically get in your body. All you can eat. That's so good for you, Bill. I am that is so good for sick you. Sick of hearing that. What? Of all you can eat. Oh, this is all you can eat. No, what they're saying is, this is all this you can eat. This is all you can the eat. The rest you can't eat. Right. <laughs> oh, Bill, Bill, yeah, you're on form. I'm looking forward to your Vegas show. I'm going to come and see you. Will you, Kurt? Yes, I think I will. I'll come see you, and then afterwards we'll, uh, you know, uh, go we'll gamble. No. Reluctantly. No. Yeah, yeah, sir. We'll gamble with small amounts of money on right. very easy games. Right. Like simple games, like something over 18 or... You mean just, what, just look at video porn? Is that what you mean? No, no, no. I was trying to simply put uh, 21 in front of you. I mean, do you hit after 18, for example? Oh. And I don't uh, mean a girl. You do mean that a little I bit. Do mean yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But st stay on 21, I think, is a better, better way to it. <laughs> yeah, we're dirty old man, Bill. Dirty old man. Mm -mm. I'm not dirty. I'm dirty. I'm an old man. Yeah, I, well, I'm dirty. I'm pretty dirty. But you're not an old man. Well, you know, I'm you dirty and you're an old man. It's fine. So we can gamble together like a duo. Maybe we should share an apartment. And, and then, you know, make it a sitcom. Well, boys and girls. That was just an idea. You don't need to be mean about it. Have you had trouble sexually? <laughs> what do I mean by trouble? Yeah. Okay. Are you taking drugs? No. I don't think so. No, 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 I don't do any of that. No, 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 it's do fine. You, do, do you do anything else? Well, sometimes I like to dress up as a uh, My Little Pony. <laughs> what happened? What happened to the ponies that used to be run in and out of the set? What happened to them? Well, there's one right, we're still right over there. Look, he's over there. Is there somebody yeah. there? Great. Why, why is it there? Why are any of us there? That's very philosophical. <clears throat> we got to get home with the show. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it became a habit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with the show, everybody. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Progressive, making it easy to bundle your home and car insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I felt like you dug hard and you dug deep and you really. Uh. <laughs> I heard the warm up comedian before I came out and said, Dig hard, dig deep, give me a 10. <laughs> He's putting these people to work, some kind of manual I labor. No, it doesn't sound on. like fun, does no, it? Not at all. Dig hard, dig deep, you better cheer or you're going up the chimneys. <laughs> That's how I got this job. Have you ever gone up the chimney? I certainly have. Uh. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> A great day, of course, uh, for the Clinton family. Chelsea Clinton announced yesterday she's pregnant. Bill Clinton is so excited, he's already trying out his new catchphrase. Who's your granddaddy? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> This Sunday is Easter. I am busy making last-minute preparations. I'm very excited at my house on Sunday. We're having a great big ham. That's right, William Shatner is going over. You see what I did? <laughs> yeah. It's all right, don't worry, he's left. He's not here anymore. No. He was here earlier, but he's gone. Right, at the top of the show, he was here, yeah. He's oh, is that what we call it, the top of the, the show? The top of the show, that's what we call it, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> movie out today I'm very excited about. It's uh, Jersey Boys, a musical directed by Clint Eastwood. I know! <laughs> That's what I've always wanted to see. Go ahead, 
make my day. Do you feel lucky, punk? Bring in the noise, bring in the funk. Come on, Jeff. You're probably asking yourself, how many bullets did I have in that gun? Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta ask yourself, do I feel lucky? lucky. <laughs> yeah. It's a great day if you believe we are not alone in the universe, because NASA found a planet that is similar enough to ours that it could conceivably ha have intelligent life on it. Oh, dear. Yeah, you want to see a picture of it? Look at this. Look, that's it, right there, the big one. <laughs> I celebrated today. I went crazy. I put on my Spock ears, got out my lightsaber, went my TARDIS, played with my sonic screwdriver. Then I heard about the planet. <laughs> The new planet is very similar to ours. It's uh, nicknamed Kepler-186F, which is not a good name. I think we have to be more creative. Uh, what about Earth-2, the desolation of smog? <laughs> uh, now, this planet is, uh, is big and old and uh, surrounded by stars a fraction of its age. Uh, why don't we call it George Clooney? That's yeah, what I think that's we should good. call it. Oh, meow! <laughs> meow! <laughs> Scientists say that Kepler-186 could be Earth's twin. Well done. Oh, you come up with that on your own? Very good. Oh, you, you dug hard, you dug deep, and you got your own little noise to make. Aren't you clever? Oh, do you know what? If he says something about that, the twin, we'll all go, ooh. Well, but what about if it's our evil twin? Or what if we are the evil twin? <laughs> but it's 500 light years away, so we'll never get to see for ourselves. The hell, man. That, that's going yeah. too bad, yeah. 500 light years, that's like, so if they can see us, then they can see us 500 years ago. They're not coming here. 500 years ago, it was the Great Plague. Yeah, that's, that's, right. that's right. If they can see us, they'll be like, oh, we're not going there. Like, bring out your dead, bring out your dead. Everybody's dying, and let's have it. Do you want some more rats to eat? Ah! <laughs> they'll be like, let us not go to that planet for a while. That's how they talk. Yeah, right. They talk yeah. like that. Right. Yeah, they talk like that. They do this with their hands because they pat their boobies. They pat the boobies <laughs> of the other aliens. There. Yeah. You like that, don't you? You bet I do. <laughs> 500 light years away? That sounds pretty far away to me. Jeff, let's play what's further than 500 light years. Oh, good, yeah. All right, then, you start. Yeah, the uh, 500, let's see, the space between Duck Dynasty and an Elton John concert. Very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. 500 light years, uh, do another one. Oh, that, uh, do, do another one? <laughs> All right. <laughs> the chances of the Lakers winning a championship. I, I know. Oh, I, no. You know, no. wait, that's a very... Hold on, hold on. Right. Yeah, this is a very interesting action when they went, ooh, yes! <laughs> that's why the aliens won't come here. They don't know what to think. You, you oohed first, then you clapped? That's like, oh, I don't like it. Actually, I do like it. <laughs> <laughs> this planet is so far away, we'd have to put humans in suspended animation to get there. You know, where they lose all consciousness but somehow remain alive. It's like what happens to me when Regis Philbin is here telling one of his stories. <laughs> anyway, congratulations to the whole Kepler telescope team. They operate out of Boulder, Colorado, which explains why Mission Control's statement today was, Dude. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. There's, That's it. I'm done. There's, there's like stars up there and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, we found Earth's bra. <laughs> and he's, he's pissed off, dude. <laughs> Who, who's pissed off? Earth's bra. <laughs> Hey, you know, this planet is like 1.1 times the size of Earth, so it's bigger than Earth. So these yeah. people will be, if there's humans on it, they'd be stronger than us. They'd be used to stronger gravity. And they'd probably wear uh, blue tights and capes. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I understand. I hear what you're saying. 
No, that is all I'm saying. It's time for a commercial That's break. Saying. That's all I'm you saying. All right, we'll go. All right. <laughs> Crazy, we're going crazy. What I like is that, you know, these days that we can get through the emails without the phone interrupting us all the time. Right, no that, phone calls. That's no, no phone good. calls. Nobody, nobody calling that. up from other shows. No, no celebrities no calling celebrities in calling. with their antics. No, we don't need that around here. Excuse me, would you? Hello? Hey, it's K-Log, K-L-O-G, you're the third caller. You've won tickets to Kenny Loggins! Kenny yeah. Loggins? Yeah. yeah! Hey, I met Kenny Loggins once. Did you really? Well, that's great, because you're the big winner. You're going to see Kenny. Oh, yeah, K-Log, K-L-O-G, Kenny Loggins all day, all night. <laughs> what's your name? Where are you from? No, no, no. What's your name? Where are you from? No, what's your name? If you want the tickets, jackass, you better tell me. <laughs> K-Log, yeah. That's weird, man. <laughs> that was a surprise. Strange. That wasn't a nice Yeah, it was. Theory, yeah. What time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who will wear that red tie sometime in May. <laughs> <That's weird>. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me a second. Uh, yeah, can you get me, uh, CBS 135? I'd like to speak to Jeff Peterson, please. Here, just a minute, please. Okay, I've got, uh, Mr. Peterson on the line for you. Jeff? Yeah, hey, what's up, man? How, how can I be calling you and you're here? No, I'm, I'm in the future. I'm in May right now. <laughs> and I, I'm looking at you, and you're wearing that red tie from April, I think it was the 17th, is that right? No, 18th, I think. Sure, that's right. <laughs> That's what I meant. Huh? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, sure, sure. You look great. Thanks. Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> I can see some light, uh, and I'm thinking of walking towards it. Should I walk towards the yes, light? Yes, please do. Do you need money? Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't mind some money. I, how much have you got? How much do you need? A hundred dollars. You fool, I don't get paid. <laughs> K-L-O-G. <laughs> all right. Um, anyway, it's a tweets and emails jingle. You ready? We'll yeah, just sure. do it ourselves, all yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Tweets and emails. <laughs> <laughs> tweets and email time. Ooh, I like that. You like that? Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because you're doing a late night show? <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from Avery in Washington, D.C. You ever been there? Oh, yeah, hell yeah, we were there. We went there Oh, together. yeah, yeah, we stayed in that hotel. What was it called? Yeah, that one, the one down yeah. the street from the thing. Okay. That's great. Good That's enough. <laughs> All right. Hey, Craig, uh, would you do me a favor and suss out the robot's weekend plans for me? Thanks. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? Yeah, stand in here all weekend. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much like last weekend. Yeah. Uh, this is from Margo and oh, I thought that said penis landing. It's pens landing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought, I thought it said penis landing. I'd be like, whoa, come on. Come on. Uh, whoa. Yeah, what's that blocking out the sun, Jeff? That's a penis landing. <laughs> penis that, landing. Is it, is it landing or no, is it taking off? I can't no. tell. 
Very, uh, very hard to get to that airport, penis landing. <laughs> Wasn't that a sensitive uh, show on Lifetime in the 1990s? Penis Landing. Penis Landing, yeah. <laughs> With James Vanderbeek. <laughs> he was so good in that. He was, he so was good in that. Good in that. <laughs> uh, Margo says, Craig and Jeff, uh, have you ever taken a selfie together? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple of times. Oh, the photograph thing! Yeah, the photograph. No, I don't think yeah, the photograph. Photograph. Yeah. I'm gonna say no. There was that one. Oh, time. Well, there's that one we did at Penis, Penis Landing. Landing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Brian in San Clemente. <laughs> San Clemente in California. He says, "Craig, do you want to play soccer with my friends? We uh, uh, play at the end of Pico on Saturday mornings." Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> You go down to Pico and play soccer with those guys? Yeah, why not? I'll go down to Pico, I'll take some oranges. <laughs> you take two rights and a left at Penis Landing, I think. Yeah. Uh, this is from Jordan, Los Angeles, California. He says, uh, Craig, I have a grammar question for you. Well, I have an answer for you. Tootsie Fruits. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Please, 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 don't encourage profanity. He'll just enjoy it. I think I was possessed there. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Well, I was possessed by you. He possessed me. Here's how you know when I'm possessed by him. I am a racist. There, he did oh it again. Because you are a racist. Racist, racist. Uh, all right, and uh, this is uh, from uh, somebody else. Um, <laughs> Yeah, hello? Hey, you doing? Uh, who's this? Hey, listen, uh, I was just calling. I know you need some things done. You need things done? Can... <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Aren't you Al? Yeah, no, this is Big Al. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, Al. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Al, you're Al from Las Vegas? Yeah, yeah, I'm over here. Just, I was watching the show. I just want to make sure everything's all right. You need anything done? You need people taken care of? What do you need? You need anything from me? <laughs> no, I'm good. All right, listen, uh, me and the fellas are going to go down to uh, Penis Landing in a little bit if you want to uh, come out over here. Sure, uh, I'll bring some oranges. Oh, I love it. Great. <laughs> K-Log! <laughs> uh, well, uh, that's about... Oh. <laughs> hello? Yeah, hello, it's Danny Glover. Danny Glover? Yeah, how you doing, man? It's great to, great to talk to you. Yeah, it's great to talk to you, Danny Glover. Uh, what's going on? Big, big fan of your show, and, uh... Uh, you're sounding a little insincere, Danny. No, no, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I love it. I love everything you do. Very funny. Were you? Did you ever do a guest spot in uh, that show? What was it called again? Penis Landing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was on that. You know, James Vanderbeek. He's a James great actor. Vander Beek. Very good actor. Man, I think we all fell in love a little bit with James on that show, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I know. I certainly did. Yeah, young, lovely young man. Lovely. Young yeah, man. yeah. He's a great guy, Vanderbeek. Yeah, yeah. Or I, I, as I call him, VDB. Oh, that's good, yeah. <laughs> me, me, me. You're funny, you're a funny guy. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. So what can I do for you, Danny? No, I was just uh, trying to find out where you got that April tie at. <laughs> yeah, I wear this tie once a month. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking for a nice tie for Easter. I just want to know where you got that. <laughs> a nice tie for Easter? Yes. That's, that's, that's right, that's what I said. <laughs> Easter for? Well, I like to get dressed up, you know, when I have my ham, you know, my eggs and whatnot. <laughs> you dress up and wear a tie to have a ham? Yeah, man, I'm Danny Glover. I do it right. Oh, okay. You know, just like you, I'm getting too old for this. But I swear, but I swear this, if I'm still on the air in a month, I'll wear this tie. Yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right
guest tonight is an Emmy-winning actress. She stars in A Haunted House 2. Ooh. Oh, good for you. Well done. Good. Wasn't that clever? <laughs> she stars in A Haunted House 2. Ooh. In theatres today. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jamie Presley. Good. I really like this, and I love this. Great team. Hair, makeup, stylist, well, yeah, great lighting. We could all look fabulous. <laughs> great lighting? Mm -hmm. Talk shows have the best lighting, especially for women, because it blows us out completely, so we look way more airbrushed than we really are. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me, too. Yep. You, oh, sorry. You look great, though. I love this shortcut. It's very, uh... Thank you. It's kind of like, mm-hmm. My, uh, my hairdresser, Jonathan Hanasek, uh, chopped it. He did a great job. It's actually his birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, yeah. Jonathan. Good. <laughs> That's good. It's always nice to start off wishing your hairdresser a happy birthday. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Helps us pull ahead of the other late night shows. <laughs> Look, they make me look good. I wouldn't look like this without them, so well, you got to thank them. You look them. great. Now, you obviously, you have a fitness regime as well, clearly. Yeah, well, trainer Mike Jones beats me. Oh, is gym. it his birthday, uh, Mike? No. no, it's his birthday on Sunday, oh, though. Oh, well, happy birthday, Mike. And uh, kale? You probably eat a lot of kale. Not a bit, no. No? Yeah, that, what, because it's a fad? I don't need to eat it because everybody said it's hot right now. Well, I'm sorry if I'm in show business. <laughs> No, I don't eat it either. I don't care for it, actually. It just sounds to me like hipster cabbage. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? This is a snake. I have it because it's a kind of Freudian penis thing. Why? Oh. Uh, I was born in the year of the snake. Were you? Really? Yeah. yeah. That would make you 23. That is a cor a correct. <laughs> Good. Do you have a little one now? I do. My little boy uh, is going to actually be seven in May, Desi. Oh, oh, that's great. I'll be doing the show here in May at some point. Yeah. <laughs> That's lovely. Seven years old. That's, yes, and you have two. I have two, yeah. One uh, who will be... A boy and a girl, right? No, two boys. Oh, you have two boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty, pretty sure. Okay. Uh, How old are they? Um, they're, they're getting up there. Like 12? 12. 12, one's a 12 and one's three. Okay. I feel you're judging me there a little bit. I, what, 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 because I don't uh, have them often enough? Uh... No, like, there's going to be the same amount of space between Desi and whichever child I have when Well, yeah, I, because yeah. you've got seven years, unless you've got one cooking right now. No. Okay, then. <laughs> Wait, what, are you going to go again, though, you think? Yes, yes more? definitely. Right, good. Absolutely. Yeah, good. I always wanted three, but I don't know how that's going to work out. I have to say, though, and you'll probably agree, Having an only child is very difficult because I don't want to play Legos every five seconds of the day. I don't want to play out... Actually, I would play outside. Yeah, yeah, playing outside is all right. That's the problem is they want to play inside. I don't do video games. Our generation didn't do video games. I didn't have any video games. I didn't either. I, I like that you put me in your generation, but let's be honest. I'm... High five. No, yeah, well, thank you. Uh, no, in my, my generation, we had... Uh, our video game was a, a hoop and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, for instance, like, have you seen the, the movie This Is 40? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rem yeah. Remember when she... <laughs> Rem well, there's, there's a part where the, the mom says to the daughter, why don't you guys build a fort? And she's like, and do what with it? <laughs> we would build a fort and play in it all day. Did you sit in it? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then come back the next day and do the same thing. Our kids want to stay, they're like, I, I played outside, it's been 15 minutes, it's hot. Um, and then they go back inside, Yeah, yeah. and, then it's and they want to play video games. Well, you know what gets me, though, is when you're raising kids now, and you have to be nice to them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Our yeah, parents that, are not as nice as we are. start? No, first of all, it takes way more energy to be a parent now than it did when our parents were parents, because yeah. they would say, go outside and then come back when the, the lights come on. Yeah. 
Our kids, we can't say that because... It's tough in L.A. The it's <laughs> tough. Well, big cities in general. But if I were back, you know, when we go back home to North Carolina every right. summer, I can say, go out and play, and he gladly does. But it's safe. It's a small town. It's a different thing. And they have the whole, you know, it takes a village well, to you... raise a child theory. So it's a philosophy. So everybody looks after everybody. And it's not like that in big town. Well, if you, in L.A., you can do it a little differently. You know, what I do is if a 12-year-old, I say, look, there's a can of spray paint. Go ahead, do a little tagging, meet some friends. <laughs> Here's a little blue rag and a little red rag. Wear whatever one you have to wear. <laughs> Whichever one you need to fit in. Yeah, please. that'd be all right. You guys just ooh me there? <laughs> Man. So that's good then. So you uh, you go back to North Carolina a lot. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, yeah. My, my nephew Justin's getting married soon. Um, so we're going to go back and Desi's very excited about it. Yeah. He loves North Carolina. If we could live there and I still do what I do, we would. But unfortunately, 3,000 miles across the country is a bit Yeah, hard. no, you can't. You can't be making Haunted House 2. Ooh. Nice way to bring it back. Thank you. In, uh, in North... You haven't been here for ages. I just remember that. Yeah, the last time I was here, I think, was for Earl. Years wow. ago. Yeah, that's... Because that's still going, though, right? No, I mean, it is. Thank <laughs> Thankfully, it is residual-wise. Oh, well, yeah, in there you go. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I, I actually... Uh, when shooting Haunted House 2, I met... The wonderful Missy Pyle fell in love with her and cast her as my best friend on my new show, Jennifer Falls, on oh. TV Land. It'll be out June 4th. That's great. A TV Land? Yeah. Good. That's, have you done Hot in Cleveland? I actually, yes. Oh, you have done? Because that's yes, a big show, Hot in Cleveland. I did Hot in Cleveland, and uh, it, was, it aired a couple weeks ago. Um, and we actually, they're going to be our lead, and we're coming out. Jennifer Falls will be coming on right after Hot and Cleveland. That's what you want, because that's their Absolutely. big show. Huh? That's Betty White. and uh, Incredible you know, show. Yeah. Betty and I just shot the campaign, as well as Cedric, who's also in Haunted House, too. Really? Yeah, so Haunted House. You guys are like the rap Cedric pack. Cedric and me, and then Missy Pyle. I mean, we've, we're all, yeah. Good. It's a good group. Yeah, it's a haunted good. house. You have to watch though. Cedric make. Uh, he now, will you be able to cry. follow it? Will you be able to follow it if you haven't seen Haunted House One? You can follow it absolutely. It's. <laughs> it's not brain surgery. <laughs> It's a spoof. It's a spoof it's movie. It's a spoof, and, and Marlon Wayans is incredible in it, and, and the rest of the cast as well. Um, but he and his partner, Rick Alvarez, wrote this really great script that Marlon refused to stick to once we got to set. Yeah. So, so it's, it's basically this really funny movie with tons of improv and incredible, incredible comedic actors. Um, I, I do have to tell you, though, like you watch this movie and you will see why... I mean, uh, Cedric is the, one of the kings of comedy. Very, very funny man. Yeah, he's, he's got, everything. Just so you know, when you see it, everything he did in that movie is completely off the cuff improv. Did and he wear he, his hat? Uh, in one scene. All right, he's got to wear his hat. <laughs> in one of the scenes, he did. He's yeah. brilliant. Everybody in it is, and it was it was a lot. This of fun. sounds like it's the Oscar contender for next year. This movie. <laughs> very exciting. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Jimmy Preston. Jamie Presley, everybody, it's, uh, we're, we're out of time. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, kind of. Really? Yeah, we talked for a long time. Yeah, but it was such a good convo, right? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, don't call it a convo around right. here. A convo. Can you do it? Do you want to play it Downton Abbey with me? Yeah, but you'd be the Scottish version. I could do it like this. I could talk to you this way. But well, I, I could talk to you like this way. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm not really good at Scottish. It's not my thing. But do you know the Presleys are all f from Scotland, actually? I know. Really? Yes, I've met them. You met the Presleys, my entire family? Yes. That's strange. They used to, <laughs> they used to clean the chimneys at the manor. Oh, did they? <laughs> How lovely for you. Yeah, I know. Uh, are you in therapy at all, by the way? No, not, not at the moment. Uh, oh, well, you? I've got a pipe. Mm. We all have a pipe. <laughs> I suppose, in a way. Do you want an awkward pause, or you want to listen to Enya or something? Um, Enya's a little, it's a little off-putting for me at the moment. Right now, I'd like to talk about funny things. What would you guys like to talk about? <laughs> 
She's not really asking you, don't <laughs> Anyway, we're out. Let's just do a quick awkward pause. Just a quick one. Quick one? Yeah. Go. <laughs> oh, I see. You went for the bra adjustment. <laughs> Very nice. It's the old go-to. <laughs> ah, the old go-to. Mm. Should we go back to Downton Abbey? <laughs> I think it might have been much more interesting for the audience. What do you think? I don't know, but I'm enjoying talking like this very much. I am much as well. Me. I really am as well. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Jamie Presley, everybody. <laughs> We're talking about Don't Nabby tonight. Do you remember? Yes, yes. Right, well, um, I found a new one on uh, Netflix. Oh, ne Netflix. Yeah, yeah Netflix. Netflix. I found a new one. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's called Foil's War, right? Oh, right. And it's fantastic. It's, uh, it's set during the Second World War in Britain, and it's about a detective called Foil. And he's very good. He talks like this. He's very, very clever indeed. But like that, he talks like that. But he no, 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 the villains talk like that. They're all like, "Here, yeah, Mr. Foy, well, I was just stealing some treasure." And he's right, like, "Right, yeah." He's right. like, "You're a very naughty man, and you've done some very naughty things. And now you're going to go to jail." That that sounds like what you tell me when we're role playing. <laughs> Let's do it then. Let's role play Foyle's War. All right, all right, very good. Yeah. Well, you know, you've been very naughty, Jeff. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'll never do it again. No, I'm afraid that's not quite good enough. I'm afraid you're going to have to clean my chimney. Is, is, that, is that code for anything, sir? Certainly not. For legal reasons, absolutely not. It just means that I want you to climb up the chimney and get all the dust out. That's next week on Penis Landing. <laughs>